G'day, g'day, guys. Uh, I'm back. So, yeah, I've had a, had a two-week break on the dozer. We've just been trying to get our um, spraying program done. We actually had some rain, which was lovely. Brought up lots of weeds. We got a really good kill on our weeds, I'm hoping this year. So they all come up sort of together and not staggered. Uh, that always helps. So yeah, and then we've done the cotton in between there. It's uh, hopefully coming up, talking a little bit more rain maybe next week. So that would be excellent. We've got some pretty poor soils that um, dry out pretty quick. I think they're talking 40 degrees for the next five days, so we're trying to just uh, get down early in the morning on the dozers, and these things sort of don't like it above probably, I would say, about 35. Yeah, once it's about 35, it's time to knock off. And the job today is, the, uh, the other week when I showed you, we were dressing off that contour uh, event for that waterway back there. Um, finishing that off up there where I got molds to finish that off. So at the moment of up there I've blocked the um, spring so no water's coming down. Uh, so I'm going frantically here trying to get uh, a new channel dug in the waterway so we can uh, get the water running back into the centre of the uh, or waterway I suppose you'd say actually. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a little 20 centimetre or 200 mil uh, depression there in the middle and then just carrying that product through, the material through to here where the water was running. So you'll just see it's getting quite wet here and soft, a bit of silt. So this was the little um, channel we put in just to divert the water so I could actually clean out the waterway. So it's worked, done its job, it's worked well. So now it's time to fill her in. And as you can see, I'm going pretty good. I've had a good, uh, good crack this morning, so hopefully by lunch I'll have this all filled in. I've only got down there to do. And uh, you can see Robbo's going there. There's big, um, a whole heap of soft spots of water and so he's down there doing that for me just where I can't get with the dozer uh, and then yeah once we get this channel dug we'll um, go back up the other end and open up the, the channel again and uh, let the water flow uh, so I think this this job's coming to an end probably another day maybe Robo's got a little bit of work to do here with um, just putting rock in um, the waterways that I've pushed up. The boys are getting them to uh, put like little rock uh, banks in the waterway just to try and stop the or no, so slow that flow down a little bit and uh, stop the erosion. So overall I think it's a pretty good, hopefully a really good result for the guys here despite a few challenging circumstances. Yeah, as I said earlier, if we do get really, really dry weather and the spring dries up and they, uh, all this is dry, then we can get in here then and um, probably do stage two, I reckon. But that's up to those guys, of course. Phil's been on the um, doze, other days, he's been out for a week or two now, off and on, uh, back at our development block trying to get we can done there so I'll be back there yeah, hopefully in a couple of days and we'll have the two dozers reunited which will be nice and best of all I don't think I'm going in in springs so no hopefully no boggy action for me <laughs> well good morning guys it's a new day here we just had a probably a mill of rain or something out there I reckon um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you 
I just want to have a look myself actually, the um, job that we finished, we diverted that water down along the middle there, and uh, it seems to be working pretty good, so despite the uh, challenges, I think we've uh, had a result, so we're just actually in the, um, yeah, we're going to move the dozer now, and um, get it back to our block, and uh, get into it. So, yeah, we'll catch you later, guys. Hello, everybody. Today is fixing day before hopefully operating days to come. So it's been quite a hot, uh, wet, well, last week was quite hot. Um, today is the 11th of December. So last week was pretty well in the 40s for the last half of the week, and over the weekend was quite um, hot too. So it's just been very, very draining, but, um, Today we've got Tiny 3, um, it's behind the excavator there and the excavator, they need a bit of work. Tiny 3, we're going to do a service, so that should just be a quick, um, yeah, just engine oil, check the uh, final drives. Um, Johnny's currently just blowing out the filters, radiator, all of that. Um, and what else do we usually do? Yeah, just give it a once over anyway, so that's what we're doing today. Right, let's warm this up. There's a spray plane somewhere. Right, so what I'll do is drive forward a bit so our final drive's lined up and then I'll get to warming up the engine so we can change the oil. This thing will take a long time to heat up, so I'll leave it running for a bit and then I'll come back and maybe load up the torque converter a bit, load up the engine and that way I can warm up a bit quicker, hopefully. The old uh, spray plane just swooped us. Didn't know what was going on there. <laughs> he just went straight over the shed.
No chunks? No, it's the same as the other side. That's good. What do we got? I got a, um, a little light on my camera now, actually. Oh, yeah. I don't need it to flash. What am I doing here? Put a sticky finger in there and see. Yeah, it's, it's about down here. So it's probably not far off the other one. what I got to do is that's the torque converter temp I don't want that getting up too high so I'll probably get that I won't really uh, no need for it to get past 90 really um, but this is the coolant temp so once that gets to I don't know maybe I'll aim for 70 um, 75 maybe um, that should be enough just to just for an oil change um, yeah So it's the biggest thing because we're loading it all up and it's working pretty hard. All of the load from the engine's going through the torque converter at the minute, so just definitely don't want that one getting up there. Sometimes you got to work smarter, not harder. So we just put the shuttle in the front, lifted up the blade, and I drove over it. So that's usually how you get to it after it's full of oil. But we got the room here, so um, yeah, it's a bit, a bit cumbersome dragging that from the back to the front. But we're all all warm, about 75 degrees. We should be good to go. Just can't remember what size the drain bung is on this one oh. Oh. that's right Brad got this bogged a lot didn't he so uh, we got mud all in here Changing the oil on a D11 isn't like your typical machine. It's all upsized. Beware of the splatter. Right, let's try and make it a little less messy. Usually I hammer away and punch a hole in it, but I'll try something different.
Poor guys scrapped that idea. That didn't make it any quicker or easier. oil filters on a little bit of dribbling happening here we'll shut her off I think there's about a hundred liters it takes roughly of engine or maybe a smidgen over so yeah your, your typical oil drain pan won't uh, won't hold that so we've got to make our own well, we're not far off being done for the service, I don't think. Apart from the fuel filters. We've got the pump working over time there. Oh. Well, we've found that it seems to work pretty well, these Milwaukee pumps. You're not meant to use them for oil, but they seem to handle it all right. Um, yeah, it's the easiest way. My uh, family came to visit, so there's some crying going on. Hey Millie, did you hurt your hand? Well, we're up to the fuel filters now. This is a little holdy hole. There's a little dory you gotta take off. And um, yeah, much the same as the fuel filters. Just take them off, put the new ones on. Where are the new ones? Oh, over there. Um, should be as simple as that, and then doing a bit of pumping of this to fill them up, but um, yeah. Pretty straightforward, thankfully. start her up and just keep an eye on the engine oil pressure make sure that light goes out within 10 seconds or so and hopefully it starts and the fuel's primed enough clear prop We're good. Don't quite know what happened to Brad. He was meant to be here, but I'm sure he got caught up somewhere. He said there was a couple of things to do with the excavator, but I'm not sure exactly what, so I might give him a ring and see. All the oil levels are right. I've let it sit and I checked it again. It's all good. So we'll lift up lift up the um, yeah, blade and back off and then I can get the forklift in take the oil over and get rid of that you don't want to forget about it under there and accidentally let the blade down on it or something that gets messy quick
So there it is. and gentle. Don't want to put all the effort into getting it this far and then spill it all in the last minute. Because I'm still here by myself, I've left the nozzle facing me so I can line it up a bit easier over the drum, or over the other shuttle I mean. Think gentle thoughts. working. Maybe I'll just sneak forward a smidgen. Right, well Brad should be here shortly I think. Um, yeah, he's got a little bit to do on the quick hitch of the excavator. He was welding that up, um, just building up the bit of material with weld and then he's going to grind that back to fit a bit nicer, get rid of some of that slop in the uh yeah in the quick hitch of that then yeah hopefully um checking over a couple of things and hopefully we can actually use them tomorrow we've got plenty of rocks to pick up in the paddock and cart away with the dump truck so we're gonna need both the dump truck and the excavator all good to go so harvest is well and truly done so yeah there's not much rest now we're straight into the um yeah developing side again as far as just trying to clean up the paddock so we ran out of time we couldn't get all the rocks out before sowing, um, so we just yeah sowed around them, did what we had to do. But um, we've got both dozers here now, um, so yeah, there's other jobs that should we should be able to get done fairly quick. But I think that's all I've got to say for the minute. I'm sure I've forgotten something, but 
I'll keep you updated. Maybe uh, when Brad comes, we'll reassess.